You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we'll be doing a short recap of the Mae Young Classic finale. Yeah. So, um, I thought it was a really good match. Yes. Um, uh, let's let's start with who was in said match. Yes. It was Kyrie Sane versus Shayna Baszler. Yes. So, I know you didn't watch the entire tournament. No. Um, but overall, I thought it was a good tournament. I was really into it. Mm-hmm. Um Unfortunately, we weren't too into the cruiserweight class just because we were kind of getting back into watching yeah. wrestling and mm. everything. So um, at that point, I think we okay. were just starting watching yeah, the main we, roster. We were casually watching it. We'd catch it whenever it was on, and like I think we sat and when we were working, we just watched the the cruiserweight classic in the background. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there was there was a lot of good talent in this tournament. Um, you had a lot of green talent too. Like mm-hmm. it just seemed like <clears throat> there was a uh, vast difference in skills between opponents. Well, there's probably a lot of people who were like, I mean, in terms of like skill, a lot of people had a like were moving up. Yeah. In terms of like, or they were like performing and needed to perform at a higher level than they're used to. Um. I think you had a lot of newer talent. That's what I mean. Yeah, 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 like yeah. they're not quite used to like the stage. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that, 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 yeah, I, I, I would agree with that. Mm-hmm. Um, the I, I believe Kyrie was the favorite going into it. Yeah. Um, well, I, I think that Baszler was more of a not not that she was like not seen as a viable threat, but I think her involvement in the finals had a lot more to do with her um being one of the four horsewomen from the ufc yeah i think yeah. that has more to do with it than her uh wrestling ability right so it um, would make sense that um kairi singing was the, the favorite. favorite yeah in so. terms of wrestling ability and things like that mm-hmm. yeah and uh yeah she's from what I had seen, I didn't see much of her before the tournament, but I had watched videos of matches of hers in Japan and mm-hmm. things like that. And she just everything they were selling on her was 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 true. And she's a pirate. Yes. Yeah. I mean, th- that's the thing. She's she's got a she's got a unique gimmick. She's a lovable character. Mm-hmm. You, you you just get that just from looking at her. She seems like you know this really happy person. Anybody who walks down to the ring holding a wheel. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, very different, but cool. Mm hmm. This was basically the story of the, uh, big bad bully and the, uh, little innocent girl, kind of. Yeah. Well, the underdog. Yeah. Well, it's the underdog yeah. story, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, which was, it was good for them to play it up this way. Mm hmm. I, I, I think. Well, it's the easiest way to sell a story right. like this. Because originally, when I had looked at the roster, you know, the, right side and left the side brackets. The brackets yes thank you um originally i had expected to be Kyrie versus candace loray mm-hmm. and i mean that would have been good for all the fans because they would have been happy to see something like that yeah but, but i think in terms of an actual tournament and having a storyline with it this was the right way to go with it mm-hmm. and integrating like you said the whole four horsewomen which was a common theme throughout the whole tournament but and any match that Shayna baszler had you saw the women of ufc outside the ring and then the four horse women of wwe Mm -hmm. across their way yeah yeah because they're obviously planning on doing something with that (coughs) later on yeah at some point at the very least but but yeah the the match itself was good like uh we had said that Shayna basically used her strength the entire match Mm -hmm. um kairi was able to get some offense and kind of work her uh work shana's ribs right area side area yeah well what happened was she was able to hit a spear mm-hmm. which initially damaged her ribs and that's when she, she to started work. to yeah mm-hmm. knocked her down to her size basically and it's kind of funny because i, I don't know I'm, I'm guessing this hadn't come up earlier in the tournament but jr had said something about she has the spear her arson in her arsenal mm-hmm. and yeah. then shortly after that she hit it yeah yeah so, she used it a couple times yeah so it's an interesting spear, which is, it's, it's cool. It's different than, mm-hmm. than the other, you know, the normal ones. Yeah. So, but yeah, at that point, like we said, she started 
going after the ribs whenever she could. Mm-hmm. Um, and at one point, Shayna had her signature move locked in, which is a sleeper hold. Yeah. And Kyrie was able to, I guess, hit, elbow her in mm-hmm. the ribs multiple times. And uh, at this point, I think they were fighting on, they ended up to the top fighting. And uh, Kyrie had knocked Baszler down, hanging by her feet. And Kyrie hit a double stomp on yes. her. Yes. They went to the mat or the ground, and uh, Kyrie pinned her, but Shayna was too close to the rope. So she, she grabbed, grabbed the it. rope. And then that was when she, right after that, she set her up for the elbow drop, I think. Um, It was shortly after. Yeah, I think sure. something had to have happened, because I'm sure she didn't just pull her over. Yeah. No, it looks like that's, uh, oh. that's how the finish happened. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, yeah um, Kyrie Saint is your... May Young Classic winner. The inaugural yes, May Young Classic. That is true. Winner. And we learn that she will be getting a NXT women's title shot. Well, going for the vacant title yeah. at NXT Houston, right? Yes. That's Survivor Series weekend, I would assume. Yeah, it's it's the Saturday before Survivor Series. Yeah. So I I, I mean I, I knew that she had been signed previously. She was um at the last NXT tape taping. Oh yeah, was she? Yeah. She was on stage when they oh, were yeah, doing yeah, that thing was. with yeah, Asuka. With Asuka, yes, that's true. So, obviously, she's been there for a little, a little while, mm-hmm. at the very least. I know she had been wrestling a couple house shows as well. Mm-hmm. well I think Shayna was she... as well. But, uh, but yeah, th- I think there's a lot they could do with Kyrie. She- I think she will move right into the NXT. NXT and even in the main roster in the future and just yeah. fit in well. Well, she's yeah. pretty young, too. So. 28, yeah. yeah. And she's got a lot of, ver- I think, the versatility in her. Hmm? She's yeah. very marketable, too. Yeah, absolutely. So, And now, I, I think, knowing WWE, we will get her and Asuka in some sort of big build. Probably. Down the line. Yeah, just, eventually. Yeah. Just but imagine of, Asuka's not that old, either. Oh, I think she is. Not not old old, but I would assume she's in her mid thirties. Asuka, yes. It's a sushi restaurant, apparently. Oh god. <laughs> Why did I pick yeah. images? I don't know. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. I'm... All right. Let's see. Debut two thousand four. She is 35. 35, yeah. Yeah, you know. That's not, still not... That, that's plenty of time that, for her to... That is very true. Because... Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I, I, I... It seemed as though this had been getting really good ratings. I think last week, in the top 10, the oh, yeah, May the, Young mm-hmm. Classic, all eight episodes were in the top 10. Yeah. I think and then, then it was 205 Live, live yeah. and then something else. Yeah, and NXT didn't make the top 10. Yeah, which is weird. Although, so, NXT has been weaker lately. Yeah, well, they kind of build everything back up. You just, you know, you added a whole bunch of new names mm-hmm. to... They got rid of who was the champion. Mm-hmm. So. Um, but yeah, this, I, I would say this was a success. I'm... Uh, very glad that Triple H put this together. Mm-hmm. He's really an asset to the company. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, but, I mean, <laughs> no, but I'm saying, could you imagine where it would be if he wasn't in the position where he was in? It would be exactly how it was 10 years ago. Yes. What were you doing 10 years ago? Not watching wrestling. Uh, neither was I. Exactly. Yes. So, um, but yeah, I've, <laughs> it, it's just, this is another example of when Vince takes a T- takes <laughs> watch your words no when when he <laughs> says okay it's all yours to the two of them do you, you think that's gonna happen or when nature tells him well, that he needs to do that no i i know but i just feel like he's still got this strong hold on the company no because there's such a difference between nxt and, and yeah. yeah but my point is when right. when eventually because he's gonna die eventually no I don't, yeah. Okay, go on. I'm not saying that that's, I'm wishing that to I, happen. I didn't say you were. I, I'm just clarifying for the five people who are going to watch this. I don't want them <laughs> to think that I want Vince to die. Um, but when it does happen, it shows that Steph and Triple H really know what they're doing. Yeah. And that the future is bright. And mm-hmm. you don't have to worry about, okay, Vince is gone. What do we do? Yeah. Yeah. So and then you end up at WCW because Hulk Hogan will be back at the helm. Mm-hmm. 
Well, no, he's going to Bullet Club. Yes, that's true. <laughs> oh, man. He's going to run New Japan to the ground. All right. So, yeah, this was our uh, May Young Classic finale review. Yes, if you want to call it that. Sure, why not? Yeah. All right. So if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.